Good afternoon, kids! Alam kong excited na kayo sa lesson natin for today. But before that, mag-review mo na tayo sa lesson na tinuro sa atin ni Teacher Jan Jan last week. Natatandaan niyo pa ba yon? If yes, very good kids! Natutunan natin last week na ang ating excessive wants at excessive greeds ay nagkakos sa atin ng financial problem. And how do we rebuild our finances? By means of, number one, exercising money management. And number two, exercising generosity. Dagdag pa ni Teacher Jan Jan na that our God is a generous and gracious God. Kaya dapat maging generous din tayo sa Kanya. And speaking of generosity and grace, mapapanood natin ngayon kung gaano ka-generous and gracious si God sa atin. Ibinigay niya si Jesus para iligtas tayo. And our lesson for today is a special episode. Why? Because it's a special day. It's Easter, the day when we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Akala natin yung Easter is about finding some eggs and finding some chocolates inside of it. But Easter means Jesus is alive. Yes, buhay si Kristo. Oo, pinako siya sa krus at namatay, pero hindi siya nanatiling patay. Muli siyang nabuhay and He is alive forever. And related pa rin ito sa ating Rise and Rebuild campaign. Because of our sins, we are broken. But Christ rescued us. And He rise for us to be restored in our relationship with Him. But before we watch a movie about the death and resurrection of Christ, magpray pray muna tayo. Let's put our hands together like this. Bow our head, close our eyes, and let's pray. Yes, Lord, we want to thank you for everything that you have done for us. We want to thank you, Jesus, for showing us how much you love us by paying the price for our sins. We worship and praise you, and this is our prayer in your mighty name, in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. So call your siblings and friends. Sit comfortably and enjoy this episode. Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not my will, but your will be done. Lord? The hour has come. He that betrays me is here. What's happening? Judas? What is going on here? Judas! Wait a minute, what are these soldiers? Rabbi, Judas, do you betray me with a kiss? What's going on? Jesus, no! Who are you seeking? Jesus of Nazareth! I am he. Have you come out as against a robber 
with swords and clubs to take me? I was with you daily in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me then. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. Wait a minute. Take your hands off. Leave him alone. Get away from him. No. Let him go. No. Let no, him that's, go. That's enough. No. Peter. Get away from him. Stop it. No. No. Let me go. Put away the sword. Don't you think that I can pray to my father and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? Be healed. You have nothing to say against these accusations? Answer the High Priest! I have spoken openly, in the synagogues and in the temple. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those that heard me. <laughs> Speak to the high priest that way! <laughs> if I have spoken evil, tell me. But if not, then why do you strike me? Caiaphas! Enough! Enough! Let us get to the heart of the matter. There are people here that have brought serious accusations against you. They say that you... that you claim to be the Son of God? Tell us plainly, are you the Christ, the Son of the Living God? I am. No further witnesses. You have heard his blasphemy. What say you? You brought me a man that you say has broken the law. I questioned him and found him guilty of no crime. But you insisted on punishment. And therefore, he has been punished. 38! Uh, 39! Uh, 40! Uh, Let him down. Bring him. Pilot wants him now. Wait! Let's not forget his crown. <laughs>
We have a custom to free one prisoner during your festive days. What say you? Shall I deliver to you Jesus, who is called Christ? Jesus. Or Barabbas? Barabbas. The Pharisees want you to call out for Barabbas. It's Barabbas. Remember, that's what the Pharisees want. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! And what of this man? What then shall I do with this Jesus, who is called Christ? Crucify him! No! But why? What evil has he done? What evil has he done? We have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the son of God. Jesus! Where do you come from? Do you refuse to speak with me? Don't you realize I have the power to either free you or to crucify you. You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. I tell you, I find no fault in this man. He calls himself a king. And? We have no king but Caesar. And you know good and well that acknowledging Jesus as king is nothing more than treason. Then bear record that I am innocent of this man's death for I find no fault in him. I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See you to it. <laughs> My son. His blood be upon us and our children. As it is written, he was despised and rejected by men, men of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. <laughs> he 
saved others, yet he cannot save himself. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. After all, didn't he say he was the son of God? <laughs> Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Aren't you the Christ? Then save yourself and us! Quiet! Don't you have any fear of God? Even now? We're criminals. We deserve this. But this man, he has done nothing wrong. Nothing at all. Jesus, re remember me when you enter your kingdom. I tell you the truth. Today, you will be with me in paradise. For three hours, he agonized on the cross. And then at noon, a strange thing happened. Darkness came over all the land and remained that way for another three hours. This is your son. This is your mother. Father! Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> it is finished. Father, to your hands, I commit my spirit. When he died, the earth shook. The rocks split and the curtain of the temple was ripped in two. Surely, this man was the son of God. That deceiver, Jesus, while he was still alive, he said, After three days, I will arise again. In order to avoid any further deceit, command a guard at the tomb and seal it lest his disciples come and steal away the body. And then say unto the people that he has risen from the dead. Agreed. Go and make it as sure as you can. Three days! So you keep reminding me. Three days guarding this tomb. We don't have to guard all these other dead people, but this one, this one we have to guard, all because of some idiotic superstition that he's going to rise from the dead. <laughs> no one rises from the dead. Which is why we're here, so that none of his followers steal the body and claim that he did. Now quit complaining. Of course no one rises from the dead.
I saw him! What? Who? The Lord! I saw him! He's alive! What? He's risen! He's risen from the dead! Thomas, we saw him, spoke with him. I told you, impossible. Unless I can place my finger on the imprint of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Peace be unto you. I, I... Reach with your finger and touch my hands. And reach out your hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless, but believing. <laughs> my Lord and my God! Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet believe. Simon Peter, do you love me? Lord, these three times you have asked me, you know all things. You know I love you. Feed my sheep. You just follow me.
Thank you kids for joining us in our special episode for today. We hope that you enjoy and learn something from it. That our God is not dead. He is alive. He is in our hearts. Tama ba kids? He is with us, providing, protecting, and guiding us every day. Pero hindi pa tayo dyan nagtatapos. We wanna see you later sa ating Kids Talk. Makikita mo ang link sa ating comment section below. And magkita-kita tayo next week. Same time, 4pm and same day. Dito lang sa ating Zion Kids TV, your online kids church. See ya!